we're going to look at a very simple use case for using a cookie in oxygen so for example you arrive on the home page and you greet it with a mes message that says check out the hoodies you go and you check out the hoodies when I go back to the home page it now says thank you for checking out the hoodies and if I go and have a look inside my cookie list you'll see that I have the cookie for hoodies now it doesn't only do it for hoodies the hoodies are also the cookies are also set for each category visited so in this case every time I visit a category in the shop the uh, the cookie with the category name will be saved so there I visited accessories and now if I go in and I look at the cookies you'll see now that accessories and hoodies is now in the list and in the same way if I head back to the shop and I go to the album and I look at the album product and I go to the album category you'll see that that cookie is now also listed in the list of cookies now what's great about that is that I can do stuff with those conditions within oxygen so if I'm inside oxygen you'll see there we have thank you for checking out the hoodies you should check out the hoodies and if we look at the condition you'll see that built into oxygen is a condition that says cookie list so if the cookie list does or does not contain a value in this case if it if it does not contain the value cookies show this piece of content and in this one if it does contain uh, the cookie list does contain hoodies then show that content so you can see how this can be adapted to all kinds of applications and promotional messages within the site and this particular function looks at any category but you could also then specify a specific category so if we go over and we look at the function so we've used the action template redirect but we're not doing any redirects here and this is the function so if it is a product category then let's get the uh, queried object let's get all the the uh, values and then let's get the term ID let's get the slug and then let's set the cookie to the slug so the slug of the category is actually the cookie name and then we say only have that cookie last for one day and the cookie domain re refers to the website domain so it'll only be valid on this website and only valid for one day and the cookie is basically based on the slug so that's pretty much all that you need to set it up and now of course you can create all kinds of conditions within here we could for example have said if the category ID is equal to a specific category then only set the cookie so I hope you enjoyed that quick video into what's possible and we'll go into more detail in some future videos as to what's possible so uh, hope you enjoyed that video and thank you for watching